Chapter 63 In Still a Baby, Su Yuji couldn't stop his parents from coming to Su Jingting's villa. So it was extremely urgent. After he called his brother, he finished speaking in one breath. His brother hung up without saying a word, and it was unknown if he heard him clearly. He also went to Su Jingting's villa with an uneasy heart. At the entrance of the villa, it was the same door and the same wind. It was no different from before. Su Yuji moved in at the slowest pace. The door of the villa was ajar. Su Yuji poked his head in and found that his parents and his brother were sitting calmly on the sofa in the living room. Their gazes were all focused on him. He had no choice but to enter. Dad, Mom and brother, why are you all just sitting there? 111 go pour some tea. There were no permanent servants in his brother's villa. Coincidentally, his brother brought little Shanshan back. There must be no servants around. Otherwise, they would have served tea long ago. Moreover, when he came in, his brother looked at him with a deep smile. All kinds of sins. He was the one who brought his parents here. It was his fault. Even if he called his brother in time, he couldn't stop him. In short, it was better for him to actively admit his mistake as a permanent second place. When Kim Yilin saw the guilty look on her youngest son's face, she knew that he was the one who had tipped them off. It meant that he had long known that her eldest son had brought a girlfriend back, and he had even hidden it from the old couple. Stop. Su Yuji wiped his sweat guiltily. Mom, what can one do for you? Come here. Su Yuji said reluctantly. Mom. I'm pouring tea for you. I'm not thirsty. Su Yuji went over eagerly. Dad. Mom. One told you not to come. But you insisted. You must be embarrassed. Ha 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 ha. He thought that bringing a few ha 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 would ease the atmosphere. Kyo. Kin Yilin grabbed Su Yuji's ear without any mercy. You little brat. You've learned to hide things from your mother. Haven't you? You knew that it would be awkward for us to come over. So why didn't you just say it? If we barge in and startle your brother, and your brother what if you scare your brother? It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, Su Yuji covered his ears. Mummy, please be merciful. Kinyil and let go of Su Yuji's ear and snorted. Su Shendong also looked at Su Yuji with resentment. This child did not know what was important. What if he really shocked his eldest son? The 10,000-year-old iron tree had bloomed. If it was accidentally frightened by the two of them and stopped blooming, wouldn't that be their sin? Su Yuji rubbed his ears and protested. What do you know? In just in a difficult position. I was trying my best to pull you guys and almost pretended to faint in front of you. You guys insisted on coming. If I told you that my brother brought his girlfriend home, you wouldn't have come over if you weren't curious. Besides, my brother's girlfriend is younger than me, and she's still a baby. You'll scare her if you barge in like this. Su Shendong was speechless. Kin Yilin was speechless. She suddenly felt that what her youngest son said made sense. Kin Yilin looked worried. She said gently to Su Jingting, who was silent, Jingting. Dad and mum don't usually care about you. You sigh and mum isn't against you dating. But we didn't expect what happened today. Did we scare you? His parents' sudden visit ruined his son's plans. If word got out, he would laugh his head off. Moreover, the Su family was a big family and valued their reputation. 